Hi everybody, welcome back to the Belt and Bond. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. And I wanna thank you to the love and support that we've seen from our labor story. If you have not seen that video, please make sure after you finish watching this video that you go and hear our story of our labor story of how Scotland came into the world. But today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about the top 10 things I hated while I was pregnant. So this is kind of a reflection back on that time and these are the 10 things that I just didn't like while I was pregnant so number 10 is maternity clothes I didn't buy a lot of them mostly I bought I think maybe a couple pairs of pants and then some tops but they just aren't so cute and they're not you know always very flattering and I carried my son very low in my belly so the way that some of the dresses that fit like a little snug looked on the models and things they didn't fit my stomach like that because my stomach was low and kind of um oblong whereas the models would have like a higher up stomach and it was more round so the clothes during that time they weren't so great i mean they got the job done they're definitely comfortable now even after having him i still wear um the jeans that i have because they're just comfortable now but um Everything else except for three pairs of jeans and I think two pairs of regular pants, I am just going to get rid of. Whether I have another child or not, I won't be wearing those clothes. So that's number 10. Number nine is counter space. You know how us ladies, like when we lean in to the mirror in the bathroom, you know, we're putting on mascara, just like checking out all the imperfections or whatever on our face. Well, you know, having a belly, you can't really lean in so far. So I'm just like, hotels and general contractors who build homes they should have pregnant women in mind when they do that because when you're leaning into the mirror you can't get as close as you want to because you have a big belly in the way so that's one thing that kind of bothered me when i'm applying makeup or just looking at my skin or whatever i couldn't get as close to the mirror as i needed to get so i hated that while being pregnant because that was a little, little bit of an inconvenience number eight is <laughs> not fitting in the booths in restaurants when you go out to eat. You see that I'm pregnant. Why are you sitting me in a booth instead of at a table where I can adjust my chair closer to the table or further away from the table? Most of the time at a booth, like the table is um, like attached to the wall and your benches that you're sitting in in the booth are nailed down to the floor. So I'm like having to squeeze into booths. And that's a little bit uncomfortable when you have a big belly in front of you then you're already eating so your stomach's going to get a little bit bigger that's number eight i used to hate that going into restaurants and bobby would always be like babe are you going to be able to fit i'm like look bruh don't try me i can fit or they should just sit me at a table so that was a little bit aggravating when i was pregnant number seven is <laughs> not being able to properly groom yourself anybody who's been pregnant or is currently pregnant now knows that when you're pregnant it's definitely hard even just taking a shower like you can't reach down and get to your legs or your ankles and your feet as well as normal just because you have a big belly that kind of inconveniences you now did i enjoy being pregnant yes so this is just like a fun video of the you know the things i hated but just being able to shower i couldn't even um paint my toenails like after a couple of months bj had to be in charge of my pedicures and he would open up his once in a lifetime salon and spas as he would call it and he would you know have to paint my toenails and stuff i couldn't even do that because you know leaning over and stuff of course you have a belly in the way you can't really do that so that was number seven so number six is constantly going to the bathroom all of my pregnant ladies know about this and for me it kind of started right away it was odd because you're like you know the baby isn't but so big but you just already have the urge to use the bathroom all the time. It got worse, of course, within like my third trimester. I was up like three and four times a night having to use the bathroom. During the day, it was like, I don't know, every hour having to use the bathroom. And it's just like on that work, trying to get things done, on the sleep, I would love to stay asleep. But when you're pregnant and you have that urge to go, like you need to go right then and there. Now it's crazy because I feel like I never go to the bathroom. I feel like I go like maybe two or three times a day. One, you know, at work, I don't really go because I am back to work now. And then at home, I'm taking care of my baby. So I don't take the time to stop and use the bathroom. But that used to just bother me. I'm like, man, I'm here again. I have to go again. I feel like I just went. 
So it's, you know, just a little nagging thing like, oh, I got to use the bathroom again. But after a while, it just gets funny because everybody knows you're pregnant. You're going to have to use the bathroom a lot. So it comes with the territory. So number five is comments that people would make about my belly dropping, especially later on in my pregnancy and that I was not going to make it to my due date. Now, the thing about due dates is they're an approximation. So when they tell you your due date, it may not be accurate. But to me, I'm like by the book analytical. So when they told me December 10th, I was like, oh, he's coming December 10th. So mainly it was like at work and at church or wherever people would be like, dang, your belly dropped again, like every week or every day. I'm like, look, I'm the one carrying him. I know my belly has dropped. I feel that it has dropped. And it's just like, oh, you're not going to make it to your due date. When do they say he's going to come? Oh, no, it's probably going to be Thanksgiving, the end of November. Ma'am, I got this. I know it's my first pregnancy. I'm not a pro, but I know my body. I know what I told the Lord and I know what I told this child. You're not coming until December 10th. Give it or take it. He did come a day early, but I still made it. So that was a little bit bothersome. It's just like, I got this. I know I'm carrying low. It's okay. One thing that I don't like is for people to tell me like something that I already know. So it's just like, I know it's okay. I got it. So that did bother me just a little bit. So the fourth thing I hated while being pregnant is people telling me that I was ready for him to come. Now, I know when people are pregnant, it's like a happy thing. People are happy for you. They want to share in that moment. So towards the end of my pregnancy, I got a lot of comments like when people would see me, they'd just be like, oh, you're ready. Oh, you're ready for him to come. Excuse me. How do you know that I'm ready for him to come? There was a point when I did get ready, but before then I didn't have that feeling like I enjoy being pregnant. I did not want him to come early. You know, I had that due date December 10th in my mind. But towards, I guess, week 38, 39, I was like, OK, I'm getting ready just because all of the anxiety was building up and I was like ready to meet him. I wasn't ever tired of being pregnant. It was just like, OK, I have him, I have him in my belly and I'm ready to like have him in my arms and hold him. But I couldn't stand when people would just be like, oh, my gosh, you're so ready. What, how do you know what I'm ready for? But again, they were probably just saying it because I guess to them, my stomach just kept dropping and dropping. The baby was, you know, getting lower, ready to come out. So they figured that I was ready. But chill, let me enjoy my moment. Let me enjoy my pregnancy. The third thing I hated was the unwanted advice. And it's crazy because now that I've been pregnant and I'm a mom now, I want to make sure that I don't give unwanted advice. Like, Again, I've stated that I know that people are happy for you. They want to share. They want to help. But let me ask, you know, I don't need information overload of everything that you think I should do for my child or this is how I did it. This is what works. Every pregnancy is different. Even with the same woman having multiple children, every child is different. So what you do for your child may not work for mine. So while I appreciate your encouragement and wanting to help, let me have solicited advice instead of unwanted advice, especially had to do my Tamar for people who don't have children. How are you gonna tell me? So that was the third thing that I did not like while being pregnant. The second thing, number two, is being away from my family. My sister got to see me once while I was pregnant, and that was even before I knew I was pregnant. I saw her, it's been, well, has it been a year? I think it's been a year now since I've seen my sister. Um, so it's been since March and I was pregnant last March, but didn't know it. And that's the last time I saw her. So it was really difficult to be away from my family, all of my family. Um, none of our family lives in the same state as us. So it was really difficult being away from them, away from them, because I really would have liked to have my sister around to share that moment with me. You know, my mom around to be present, you know, more throughout my pregnancy. Luckily, we have FaceTime, so like every Sunday, I FaceTime my family. So they did get to kind of experience it with me, but it would have been nice to have them here with us. So that's kind of one of the things that I did kind of dislike. Like, um, I think my mom saw me a couple of times while I was pregnant, my dad a couple of times, my husband's family, just, you know, on occasion, whenever we had to travel to South Carolina or whenever they came here. So that's the one thing that I really hated that I didn't have them here with me during my pregnancy, but maybe baby number two. Ooh, we'll see. 
All right, and the last thing, number one, which I completely hated. Other pregnant women may disagree, but I hated when people would try to touch my stomach. Like why? When I wasn't pregnant, you didn't want to touch my stomach, so why do you feel like you can just reach out and touch it now? I would absolutely hate that. Now, there was one time early in my pregnancy, like June or July, someone asked and I let them touch my stomach, but then they took that as being able to just touch it on a whim. No, no, no. And after that, I felt kind of weird, like, well, you know, why are they touching it anyway? I don't know what people are thinking or like praying or whatever when they're touching my stomach. So I was very um, conscious about that. So I just absolutely hated that. It would make me feel uncomfortable. And I would even read things on apps like how to stop people from touching your stomach, like reach out to touch theirs. And you know, they may find that offensive. So you see how that makes you feel? It makes me feel the same way. So that was like the top thing that I hated. And now they reach out to touch my child, but you know, it's okay. I'm a little bit more protective over here now. I'll get that hand real quick. I'm just playing. But um, yeah, so those are my top 10 things I hated while I was pregnant. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your love and support. Please thumbs up this video if you like it and you want to see more videos like this. Also share it and make sure you subscribe to our channel, The Belt and Bond, so that you never miss an upload. So always remember to be bold, be blessed, and be bonded. Thank you for watching The Belt and Bond. God bless.